The variation blueprint has been updated in June 2024. This is a quick overview of what changed. This tutorial doesn't replace the previous in-depth video tutorials. It just points to the few settings that have changed. The variation settings have now a couple of additional tick boxes. Use for edits, which is enabled by default, will allow the variation actor and its meshes to be selected while in edit mode. Print in lists, which is also enabled by default, makes the variation appear in reports and lists. Mesh variations are now set up similar to how material variations are set up. Select the chairs and press M to make sure the variation actor will be placed in the same level. Connect the static mesh actors from the scene to the variation actor by adding them to the actors array. Scroll down to the Variation Meshes section and tick the box to Enable Mesh Variations. The current static mesh will be set as the original mesh. Add three array elements to the mesh array and use the original mesh as variation number one. Then add additional meshes as variations to the array. Save and check if the variation actor works as expected. You can now make additional changes, like assigning names and materials. The new optional section called Variation Info lets you display additional information for each variation ID. Enable this by ticking the Show Info tick box. The first info with index 0 will be shown for every mesh variation if the info array only has that one index. Use price array will add the prices set in the price array to the variation list. This will overwrite any prices set in the info section. Price tracking will be covered in detail in the next video tutorial. The object info blueprint can display additional information for a mesh in the scene without having to add variations to it. It works the same way as the variation actor blueprint does. The edit mode widget now combines the variation selection and object information into one widget. The name of any editable asset in the scene will be displayed when hovering over it. An icon indicates what kind of object it is. The Edit or Variation widget panel will appear when an object is selected. Click on the Apply or Cancel icon to unlock the widget and to select another asset from the scene.